Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show you all how I made this absolutely gorgeous V-split tumbler using vinyl from BAMF's Custom Creations. I hope you love it as much as I do, so let's go ahead and dive right in and get started. I'm starting off with a 20 ounce skinny straight from Makerflow Crafts and I base painted it Marshmallow from Color Shot and I am using the most gorgeous vinyl I've ever seen. This is from Banff Custom Creations. I can't even explain how much I love this and under epoxy somehow it looks even better. Of course it came in a 12 by 12 sheet but I cut it right down the middle um, diagonally and created a little triangle that is going to be just about perfect for this tumbler. Right now I'm just kind of wrapping it around and trimming it to get about the right um, size that I need. This is just kind of like an estimate. I can go back and trim some more later. Once I have everything trimmed the way I like it, I need to create an anchor. So I cut about an inch and a half or two inches off the backing of that little corner there, stuck it down on my tumbler, and then I can gently roll the backing off of the rest of the tumbler. And I'm pushing it with a squeegee to just kind of go like little by little to reduce wrinkles and bubbles. It went on really, really easily, very, very smooth, not a single wrinkle or bubble anywhere. So now I need to go in with a vinyl trimmer and just trim right around the rim a little bit. Um, this cuts just a tiny, tiny bit off so the vinyl is not going to mess with epoxy. There will be no lifting and the epoxy has something to grip onto. So now I'm going in with a couple different alcohol inks. They're both Pinata brand. This green here is called Rainforest Green. The gold is called Rich Gold. And with this Rainforest Green, I'm just kind of like painting it onto the tumbler with a paintbrush. I tried to add some of the gold, but I wasn't thrilled with how transparent it looked. So I just went over it with the green. So I'm just taking the same paintbrush and I'm trying not to get any onto the vinyl because I don't want anything to mix there. But I'm just painting everything that is white with this rainforest green alcohol ink again that is pinata brand and i get mine from the glitter grind <music> Now that it's all covered, I'm going in with some 91% rubbing alcohol in this little medicine cup and a smaller paintbrush. I'm just dipping the paintbrush into the rubbing alcohol and then dabbing it onto the paper towel so there's not so much and blotting that paintbrush all over that alcohol ink. It just creates like this different texture to the alcohol ink. I wanted it to kind of like mimic a little bit of what was going on on that vinyl. Of course, it doesn't look exactly like that vinyl, but it still gives it some texture and it looks really cool. So I just decided to do that all over the tumbler and I also tried to add some gold in there too. Again, not super thrilled with how transparent it was, but it did give it a little bit of that gold touch to it. <music> Alright, so now I have one coat of epoxy on this tumbler. It's cured and ready to move on. This is gold textured vinyl that I got from Amazon. I believe I cut the strips 11 inches long and 0.16 inches wide, I believe. Of course, it's way too long, but I'm, can, I'm just trimming it. So I'm just lining that separation between the vinyl and the alcohol ink just to add like that little bit of detail. And I think the pop of gold there looks really, really, really nice. And then whenever I get that vinyl on, I'm just taking an X-Acto knife and trimming right where that vinyl crosses to create that nice, clean, crisp point to the V-split. Now I'm going to go in with some Tacket over and over, and I'm just very, very, like, 
subtle, delicately, adding some little lines to the um, alcohol ink portion. And I'm going to let that dry. I'm actually going to put it in front of my heater for about 30 seconds once I get enough of the tacket on that I'm satisfied with. And I'm going to add some of those metallic gold flakes from the glitter grind on to the parts of um, the tacket over and over that I added just to give a little extra pop to that rubbing alcohol section so it'll match with the vinyl. So now, of course, everywhere that the tacket was applied, it's very sticky. So all you have to do is grab some of those metallic gold flakes and just kind of press them down onto the tacket and rub off the excess with your finger. It's super, super easy. Now, these metallic gold flakes are very, very delicate. They're very, very light. So just be careful with like any fans near you or sneezing or anything that might cause the flakes to just kind of fly away because they definitely will. So like I said, I'm just applying the flakes to the parts that I added the tacket, rubbing away the excess, and then after that, all I have to do is add the finishing coats of epoxy, and this beauty of a tumbler will be done. After some epoxy, here's the result, and I am thoroughly obsessed with this vinyl, with the gold, with the alcohol ink, with everything. I love how this turned out. I love it so, so much, and I hope you do too. Before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, when you can't control what's happening, challenge yourself to control the way you respond. That is where your power is. That is all I have for you guys today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you go check out Bay of Custom Creations. I will have her link down in the description. She's got the most gorgeous vinyl, and I am probably going to go order some more. If y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!